Uh, we're a revolutionary anti-capitalist union. Uh, we believe in one big union for all the workers. And we're still around. We went through periods of repression and being jailed and imprisoned and lynched, fighting for the working class. Uh, many people on the left, on the political left, know about us. We're kind of legendary, but we're still alive. We're not a museum piece. Uh, we're still organizing people in marginal industries. We used to have 100,000 people in the woods in the Pacific Northwest, loggers and mill workers, and we had miners from the Western Federation of Miners. Now, we're organizing people who are not organized, like baristas, fast food workers, sex workers, artists, people who are on the margins of the wage system. We believe in the abolition of the wage system, as a matter of fact. But we have a fellow worker named Arthur Miller, and he's been a wobbly for 42 years. He's very active in Tacoma, and he's active with the committee for Leonard Peltier defense offense. And that's probably what, he can't make it today, he's probably doing something uh, in that regard. But he did uh, write a, a message, and I'm going to read and paraphrase the message from Arthur Miller. And he says, uh, Solidarity greetings from the Tacoma General Membership Branch of the IWW, or as some of us, as some of you know us, the Tacoma Wobblies. The dominant culture likes to view things as individual events and then rate them as either successes or failures. But the long struggle for a better world is a continuous journey where we learn from that which came before us and those that come after us learn from what we have done. The Occupy movement takes its rightful place as an important part in that journey. Humanity and its struggles uh, take a great diversity. Some would have us limit our struggles to only what they think we should struggle for, while others believe, as I do, that the unfair social economic system oppresses and exploits people in different ways, and all should struggle as they can. None should be forced to the back of the bus to wait their turn. The diversity of social struggle of all is our strength, not our weakness. For no one is free until we are all free. There is no separate peace. The greatest among the struggles are those where the people directly organize themselves and learn to speak for themselves. The Occupy movement has shown this to be true. Among the struggles of humankind has been the struggle of working people who do not control the fruits of our labor or the conditions under which we work. We are exploited by an employing class that gains great wealth at our expense. Learning from experienced workers, learning from experience, workers learn to organize unions. Uh, in 1905, when many veterans of labor struggles came together to create an organization based on their collective experiences. All workers on the same job organized into the same job organization, meaning what he means here is that instead of organizing by trade, uh, where we have carpenters here and electricians here competing with one another. We organize by industry. Uh, everybody, for instance, in the airline industry, the pilots, the baggage handlers, the mechanics, would all be part of the same union. And then we join in a federation to, of the one big union. And he says, uh, all workers on the same job organized into, into unions, all workers together belong to the one big union. That's our concept. Uh, and the, the class struggle is not something we sought out, but rather has been forced on us. Realizing this, those that came together wanted an end to class conflict, and they knew that the only way to do that was through social change. So a vision was created where we struggle for day-to-day -day gains. Uh, we are creating an organization that has the power to win those gains. And as we build that organization, we are creating the means to change the system. That is, the organization of working people, but those who rob us of, of the fruits of our labor, the employers, society can do without. When the organized power of the working class is greater than the organized power of the employing class, we will have the means of real social change. Or as fellow wobbly Joe Hill put it, and this comes from the song Solidarity Forever, it says, if the workers take a notion, they can stop all speeding trains, every ship upon the ocean, they can tie with mighty chains, every wheel in the creation, every mine and every mill, 
fleets and armies of the nation will at their command stand still. The new organization became known as the IWW, for many you call us the Wobblies. Over the years, those in power have feared us, and we have faced great repression. We have been imprisoned, we have been murdered, and like Joe Hill, we Wobblies have never died. The IWW was and still is working people organizing themselves. We use direct action, which means those in need of acting for themselves at the point where their need is. In other words, working at the point of production, on-the-job democracy. We believe in solidarity as more than just a nice slogan, but rather as a way of life. Solidarity is not a one-way street, and Wobblies have always stood by others. The Tacoma Wobblies have been active in solidarity with many others for many years, uh, and imprisoned Native activist Leonard Peltier. We must also struggle for our Mother Earth, who has and still is being devastated for the wealth of a few. We must struggle not just in the streets, but also in our workplaces where the days of green strikes must come as we workers take responsibility for what we produce. We must also struggle in our communities and in our homes. We must end the abuse of Mother Earth and the power to do so is in our hands. Our struggles are hard. That's why we call what we do a struggle, because it isn't easy. Please understand that each and every one of you are an important part of the struggle, for you add your creativity, your ideas, your skills, and your knowledge to the struggle. In times when we seem small in numbers, each of you that continue are more important than when there are many within our ranks. For you, continue to struggle until it grows again. Saying, don't lose heart. All of our struggles are connected, for they overlap with each other, and in most cases it is the same few on top that force us to struggle. We struggle as we can, and at times our struggles become storms that cannot be ignored. Our storms do change things and improve the conditions we face. As the realization that our struggles are connected comes about, we are destined for the day when our storms merge together into one big hurricane that will sweep over the land. Not a hurricane of destruction, but rather a hurricane of creativity as we refuse to no longer feed the system of a few exploiting the many, the system that oppresses us, and we refuse to fight their wars anymore. He quotes Sitting Bull here. He says, as individual fingers, we can easily be broken, but all together, we make a mighty fist. As we organize our workplaces, our communities against our oppressions, for peace and for Mother Earth, with the creative spirit, we can create a new world based upon the well-being of all, including our Mother Earth. And, and that concludes Arthur Miller's uh, remarks for Occupy Tacoma. And I'll just amplify just a little bit by saying that when he said all our struggles overlap, he means the struggle for gender justice, for racial justice, for the uh, liberation of oppressed peoples like Native Americans and First Nations in Canada. All of them hook together, and all of them have common roots. So Occupy has shown the way uh, in the past year, all over the country and all over the world, and we salute you for that. Thank you.